All right, guys. Well, it's a weekend. It's just rained for a whole lot of time. Um, and we've got chores to do. So you guys are going to sit here and come along for the chores. Um, let me pull this out of there. So this is a 36-inch bucket. It's a work brow. So I bought this bucket, and I don't know if you can tell, but there's a slight dent in it. Not horrible, um, but that little rusty spot in the middle, I tried to heat it up with a rosebud like a dum-dum baby because it's a big bucket. They're made, I think they're still made out of T1. Um, anyways, so I was trying to heat it up one day. Today it's like 40 something degrees. It just got done raining all day yesterday. It's probably not the best day to try to get heat into a bucket. Um, but my thought was, I don't know if this is gonna work. I've never tried to do this before. It's gonna be an experiment and hopefully it works or works ish. Uh, so I've got a weed burner. I'm gonna pull my torch out too but I've got one of these weed burner propane torches. Um, I'm gonna try to use it. Corey's gonna head over, and that might be who's texting me like a bunch. No, well, one of them is, but uh, anyways, I'm gonna try to use the weed burner to get a lot of heat in the bucket. Not so much to heat it up to where we can bend it, but if I can heat it up and keep some heat into it, and then I'll heat it, hit it with my, uh, with my rosebud, and then what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to fire up the excavator and with that heated up, I'm going to attempt to use this six inch fence post. I kind of rounded the bottom edge with the chainsaw just to kind of give it, you know, take away some of the sharp edges. I'm going to attempt to put the fence post in there. I've got this healed up, you know, to where we can hit onto the ground with it. Um, and it's catching one of the wear bars on that six by six. This six by six is here just in case we need something else. Um, but it won't fit down in through the bucket and give me room to hit it. So that's what we're going to attempt to do. I'm going to try to basically dolly that and work body work that down. If we can get that back roll down, we'll drop down to the next wear bar and then, you know, keep heat in it the whole time with the, uh, with the weed burner. And then if we've got a rose butted up or something, but if I can get most of that dent out, I think we'll be in good shape. Um, it was a really cheap bucket. I bought it here in town. Um, a guy had it, nobody wanted to buy it because of the dent. It's totally usable, but it would be nice to be able to kind of roll that and heal stuff in and stuff. So I w I'd like to get a little straighter. Uh, plus, you know how it is. It it's nice to have a challenge. And I mean, I thought that was awfully challenging. These are probably three eighths uh that's probably a three-eighths back if i had to guess um i mean that right there's quarter so it might be a quarter back of t1 we'll see what happens um like i said never tried it before i've got a pretty good sized torch set and it wouldn't touch i mean i could barely start getting some heat in that and the heat would just dissipate so fast um so We'll see what the torches do. Anyways, hang out. Corey's coming over, like I said. He's going to help me hold the post, and I'm going to beat it with the machine. We'll see.
We can let it down and we can work our way into that spot we can let it down one more block and kind of hit there do you want me to get you a longer a longer log no i, no, I think it's fine okay or something to grab it with no as long as you don't hit my hand when I hit i'm it. trying not to i figured that the, i'll hit the coupler before i hit your hand yeah no I, I'm, if it splits or something but that's hardwood it ought to hold
got we got some limestone to stack up on. It kept sinking into the gravel. I think we were fighting that the entire time. It just settle in and, and act like a dolly it wouldn't up off the ground or anything. Alright, well, I don't know. I probably can't get a very good picture of that. But let's see. Get you way down there. That is way, way better than what it was. Way better. Let's see, get down here on the wet ground. Um, I didn't show you a picture down below before, but hang on. Hang on, let's pull you off here. Okay, get you all the way down. See, that's still bent a little bit. But my gosh, I wouldn't have thought, I didn't even think that we would get it that much, to be honest with you. And that dent is right there on that wear bar. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. I just wanted to get the bottom of the bucket a lot smoother than what it was. Um, all I'm ever going to do with this bucket, or all I ever plan on doing with the bucket, is moving material. Moving bulk material uh, that I need to dig with the teeth. Because I've got the 42 inch bucket um, and that's something to be said so I know a lot of people dog on tag buckets um, but you know how this one's built underneath obviously you can kind of see it there see it's got the wear bars let's run back here real quick while I'm talking too much and I'll show you guys the tag bucket it's behind the shop um, so tag buckets at least all the ones that I have they skin them so instead of having the wear bars on them that give a little strength to it, oh, we'll look at my, all the tag buckets that I have are the same way. So we'll look at the one. This is for my John Deere, for my uh, little John, the 75G or D. See, it's skinned. So it's got the normal material and then it's got a second skin on it all the way down. It makes that incredibly strong. So this is doubled up. It's the sides are welded to this piece and then they lay this on and then the sides are welded to that piece and it's welded all the way across and everything incredibly strong design because you know it, it just makes it it's double thick um all my bucket all my tag buckets are the same way we'll walk over here to the mini buckets just in case you think that my mini buckets are different sorry for the wind it's windy up here all the time but there's my 42 inch bucket and you can tell it's skinned it's the same way and this is my 24 that i use all the time and it's skinned no wear bars well my 12 inch bucket that's a work brow and that 36 inch bucket that i just bought is a work brow and both of them have wear bars on them tag and my eyes is a lot stronger design Anyways, I know everybody gives me heck about tag. Uh, one particular person, he always makes fun of my, my thumb. My thumb is not the greatest thumb in the world. Let's move that off there. Big old rock. Um, my thumb is twisted a little bit, but it's the one that came on the machine. When I bought the machine, I didn't know my buddy Jeremy. Uh, Jeremy likes Amy Lays, but my thumb, I don't know if you'd be able to see it but it is tweaked a little bit but i do a lot of limestone and everything else machine's got i don't know six or seven hundred hours on it and uh you can actually see it there i don't know if i can get you in the right angle but it's tweaked the right side's up higher than the left side but it still works it does fine um if i ever buy another machine i may buy an amulet or a strickland um, the Strickland, I really like the Strickland thumb that they had for my 75. But anyways, that's being a bunch of fools. Uh, we're using the propane torch just to keep heat into the bucket because it's really windy right now. It's only about 40, 45 degrees. So it's really hard to keep it up to temp. We've got it sitting on some limestone steps. That really helped because we were trying to do that and it just kept sinking into the rock and then we were fighting the rock kept it propped up with another piece of limestone and then if anybody needs this i'm going to call that the bucket straightener 2000 it's a piece of hedge 
um, that thing, when I hit it, it felt real good, real solid. It had just enough cushion. It didn't make the bucket bounce, um, anything like that. But if somebody needs the bucket straightener 2000, let me know. I'll ship it to you. You can have it. Um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it's kind of rednecky how to straighten a bucket, but I didn't think it was going to work, and it worked. So uh, now I've got a really usable bucket. Uh, I really don't like these little nubbed off teeth. The teeth don't look like they're... Uh, I hope those teeth weren't supposed to be that long. Um, I mean, they've got the wear edges and they taper down good, so they might have just been little stubby teeth, but I'm going to put longer teeth on it if I can, I guess. I don't know. I haven't had good luck with teeth, but every time I get a bucket, it's got some weird tooth on it that you can only get what's on it. Um, anyways, but I'm going to get a new set of teeth for it if I can. And all we're going to do is use this to dig dirt with. Uh, hopefully the machine runs it good. It's really wet right now. It rained, for, it rained the entire day yesterday. So I'm not going to go dig around in the mud and stuff. But I do have a couple jobs that I will probably use this on coming up immediately. So uh, watch out for it, I guess. And if you see something with uh, six teeth on it, and a pretty good sized bucket, you know it's a 36 inch bucket. Uh, we're gonna see how the 50 runs it. It should run it just fine, but anyways, we'll see you guys later and I appreciate you watching and have a good weekend. See ya.